Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. Complete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Brady again here on second and 10. Left side here to Sanders. And now running right through it. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play here for Dallas. 42 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Let's go, let's go. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Brady to throw on second down. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And all the way down inside the five to the four. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. of 10. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. To throw is Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. From the five-yard line, will this opening drive yield six? This is third and goal. Here's Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Bailey now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Look, look. 
He'll start out here with the option left. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On third down, Vic. He is going to find Hill here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And a nice gain of 21 yards. From the red zone now, Vic. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Demarcus Ware in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now here's Vic. Buying time, and he's going to go down again. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. Now that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not to solve all their problems either. And a great return, solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Play action, it's Brady. Steps away to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On second down, Elliott. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. 
And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. And that leads to a fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and these creases up there are able to explore right there. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. The give is to Elliott. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now a second down throw for Vic. Looking here for Smith down. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Hey, 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 hey. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Vic forced out to his left and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete so with one second left in the half on is the field goal unit he hit his first now this one from 48 yards away and Goskowski's kick is good and okay so much for our halftime break apparently we're gonna get right back to it so we have reached halftime here with not much scoring between these two teams. 6-6 six, six our score. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. 
What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And he's got some space here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And this one is incomplete. Six-time Pro Bowler Randy Moss, the intended receiver. And it's second down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Third and long for Vic. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now Brady. Pass incomplete. Cooper was the intended target at its third and short. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Brady. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They do go for it. It's Brady looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Start by run of the option to the right. Spinning past him. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Being chased out left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And he'll win it over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. 
Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. That's going to be caught. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now they'll run, Murray. Here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They run with Murray, and this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. And we're back now in Charlotte. A big spot now for Steven Goskowski. This to break our fourth quarter time. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. to six. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All yeah, right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Now Brady. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. A really nice gain of 25 yards. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. The speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? My 20! My 20! Now a play fake here on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag Thank comes you down. So you got to move a little bit, right? You know where you are on the field, yeah, have some fair. awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Wow. From the gun, it's Brady. 
And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked off Tom Brady's not making seven. that play. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. On first down, Murray. And he, and he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Latavius Murray, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Koski now out to kick it away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking deep in the direction of... And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper, 75 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. This time, the extra point up and good. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock defensively. They have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Here's Vic. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Go, Brady's go. incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Sugar, 
Working from the gun, it's Brady. And, oh, a crush in there. It's intercepted. Let's go. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Let's Anthony go. Barr. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Start with an option going left. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll run it now out of the gun. It across the 25 before being tackled. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Great time there to come up with his longest run of the night. We just saw it. Leads to a lot of satisfaction because if they're able to hang on and win this game, you know what else will happen in the locker room after this? What's that? Head coaches step up and go, great job, guys. Because of that, come in a little bit later tomorrow. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Space to maneuver at the 40. Michael Vick, he's going to go. And he'll finally be taken down. Peace out, dude.